will be open solos, and it'll work kind of strangely. We will start playing, when we get to 152, we'll play to 167. Uh, measure 166, we'll play concert B flat, and then we will stop and have a soloist solo, and when we go back on the repeat, it will be the rhythm section only. I think we're gonna start at 152. I'll ask alumni just to listen. Why don't I have alumni listen? We'll do it a couple times for you, and then we'll have alumni join in. And let me bring up Nick Cahill, and let me bring up Joe. Why don't you guys show them how the solo works? Come on up front. And all solos will always be from the front. And then uh, Leon and Sean, you are next, and then Terry and Paul, you are next. So we're gonna start with 152. And if you're not sure, just listen. This band has played it a lot. We've played it a lot. There should be some directions in there. It's kind of confusing. Watch for the cutoff. The second time through on the repeat, it will be just rhythm section. The third time through on the repeat, it will be the band. Uh, so uh, alumni, good luck. One fifty two. Taxes, you can take the pickup. This is in cut time. Here we go. And one and two and ready and. Buddy. Thank <laughs> you. 
One more time. Here we go. 152. We got some new soloists trying it out. Here we go. 152. The entire band. the same time. And then we'll play the melody and go straight to the end. We need to practice the ending once though. Let's practice the end. We start at uh, 152, the last time, straight to the end. See if we can get that ending a little better. Last time, 152. <laughs> you ready, Saxes? Yeah. One and two and ready. <laughs>
test, test, one, two. everyone. Let's try that again. Good evening, everyone. It is indeed a good evening, but it's a bittersweet evening, too, because tonight we have the opportunity to have our third, although it seems like many more, our third alumni concert, which was first organized by Bill Cash. It's also Bill's last alumni concert as conductor as he will be retiring this June, and he will be sorely missed by all of us. 28 years in this district. except say thank you. I know we will see much more of him. I'm sure he will be back to play with our orchestra again. And I hope he'll be a very visible presence while he enjoys a well-earned retirement. Thank you, Bill, for everything. Thank you. I still have to write things down. Uh, my name is Bill Cash. I'm the director of the Catskill Central School District Instrumental Program. This is an alumni concert. Woo! 
We have people from the 2000s, from the 90s, from the 70s, from the 60s, and there's one special person here, uh, Arlene King Brown. Arlene, are you here tonight? Arlene King Brown. I'm not sure if she could make it. Arlene, where's Arlene? Yay, Yay Arlene! She's representing the bands from the 1950s. She is a percussion player, so guys, look sharp on the march coming up. My first number, or our first number, I'd like to dedicate to a person that I just held hold in great esteem. He, he was one of, just a wonderful principal, the, the man who hired me, Dick Stickles. If Dick Stickles is here, please stand. Not sure if Mr. Stickles, yeah, there he is! One of my favorite all-time people. We will play a march, and he loved marching bands. And uh, if you close your eyes and pretend we're all on the right foot. This one's for you, Dick. another special guest through the power of social media I got in contact most of, with most of the alumni and I also found that my former band director high school former director was looking at our site and said gee I'd love to play uh, the band room was someplace where I sort of spent a lot of time in high school and he, he was a crazy director he had us doing marching bands he had us doing jazz bands we had a great brass ensemble I'd like to uh, recognize Bruce being calm and thank him for He's a great job in high school. Thank you, Bruce.
We're going to stretch the band a little bit on this next number. It's a, um, a medley of all parts of the Caribbean. And uh, it kind of pushes the band, and it's a really fun piece, and it's active. If you notice the guys in the back row, that's a percussion section. They will be doing lots of fun things. I like percussion because it's visual, and you can hear it. So please watch them, because they're hitting lots of different little things in this Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a lot of fun for us to play. Hope you enjoy it.
we are going to give our lips a break. And over the years, we have had percussion ensembles. And we're going to do a little percussion ensemble called Stinking Garbage and give the band a little rest. So with the Stinking Garbage people, please come forward. Don't you love our percussion section? They can take garbage cans and have, have a great time. Thanks, guys. My wife
wife and my wife and I uh, saw John Williams con uh, conduct uh, two summers ago at Tanglewood. It was a wonderful thing, and uh, we we're going to about to play. It's called Young Person's Guide to John Williams, and it's a collection of John Williams' favorites. And again, we're going to stretch the band with some uh, more difficult music. It should be a lot of fun to listen to. We like playing it, so enjoy.
we have some alumni driving four and five hours, so they're 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 leaving a little bit early. Uh, Try to keep this quick, uh, but Mr. Cash pretty much got me into Plattsburgh State. Uh, had to audition, ended up working with Herm Matlock, who was also his professor. He wanted to be here tonight. We tried working it out. He had a gig in either Rochester or Syracuse, but he did write something that he wanted me to share with all of you tonight. So I'm going to try to keep it short, but he did write a lot. They've known each other since the 70s, what do you expect? <laughs> All right, I have a long history with one William Cash. We met in August of 77 at Plattsburgh State University. He was being interviewed at, in the opening for the music department. This is her, not that. He didn't bring his horn, so they called Mr. Cash, who lived in Plattsburgh at that time. He was about to begin his sophomore year as a music major. He brought his horn, he played, Herm said that most students wouldn't stick around to listen to who the new instructor might be, but Mr. Cash, of course, didn't. After he got the job, Bill and Herm hit it off. Um, he said the only downfall that Mr. Cash had was that he could never get enough work to do from Herm. He had a great sense of humor, he says, until it became time to practice or rehearse it. At that time, he could not ever break the serious face of Mr. Cash. <laughs> After he graduated from Plattsburgh, Herm and Bill lost contact for a bit. It wasn't until several years later that Mr. Cash was responsible for getting Herm as the area all-state band conductor during the 90s. He enjoyed it very much, and he still appreciates that. He also came to kind of help out our band once, uh, when I was in band as well, and he said that you guys ended up going home that night, talking to the wee hours of the morning about how to motivate students, how to recognize the differences from one student to the next, and how to teach music as something that should be cherished, rather than a nuisance how to handle it when exercising patience with administrators wasn't paying it off, and how to better design lessons. You very much tired him out, he says, and he said he will never forgive you for that, but what he could tell is that you loved your work, you loved your students, and you loved your family. He felt as though he was sharing something that's very special with you, and you were letting him in on your happiness. He was very frustrated at times, severely frustrated, Herm says, but because of his passion, his frustration was on display, but his passion made it very clear to others that he was pleased when the hard work and love he put into the program was reaping the desired benefits. Herm also gets compliments about his passion, but he says he's never seen anyone with more passion about teaching than Bill Cash. The Cat School School District is very fortunate to have Bill for so many years. You and the rest of the music education community needs more people like him who have an attitude that says, I work for the kids. You will not deter me from building and maintaining the best possible program for them, their parents, and the community. I'm committed to that first and foremost. Your retirement is very well deserved, Bill, but it will leave a void that will be extremely difficult to fill. We all love you, but more important than our love for you is the ultimate undying respect we have for you. You've earned it, and good luck in everything you do from this point forward. Together, but, uh, <laughs> well, Mr. Cash, the past four years have been awesome. I gotta say, it was awesome having you for the past, the past four years of your career, and it was a blast. I'm bad at talking in public. But <laughs> Me too. I gotta say one thing: there was not a single day of going into band where I was not happy to be there. Awesome. What you got? Well. Uh, I know how much you like fishing. I love fishing. So, <laughs> love us fishing. seniors got together and got you a little Woo! gift. Yeah! Open it up.
this really weird, freaky rumor that you're colorblind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I drew these. <laughs> I don't know what colors to pick, but everyone signed them, and awesome. it's really nice. Thank so, oh, thank you guys. And we also um, all signed in this book. So. <laughs> what got? Thank you guys. This is great. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> I'm going to turn it over to my sister. So that was our introduction. Um, some of us might know you from... <laughs> hey, it's in the family, you know? She's the tall one. Yeah. Okay. Some of you might know us from when we were little, scrounging around the auditorium, finding treasure, looking for pennies. Um, over the years, we've been to Elk Club dinners, gone from seeing children's concerts to performing them, um, gone from waiting up for our dad after festivals to get home to going to Washington ourselves. Our dad started us off pretty young on oboe and French horn, <laughs> because everyone wants to play flute and percussion, but that was the first lesson that, as a team, we need to balance the band. Um, but even though we both spent our high school years in band, the greatest lessons from our father never had to do with bringing home the Nisma Gold with Distinction Trophy, although it is pretty <laughs> damn sweet. <laughs> um, while he was organizing all these concerts and all these band trips and all these fundraisers, our dad also took the time to take us camping on the weekends, and yes, we both know how to fly fish. And though our father's career can pretty succinctly be defined by the word excellence, which we've talked about so much this evening, we want to thank you instead for the balance that has allowed us to have an awesome childhood. And um, I'm not hating on all the shiny trophies in the hallway, but that's worth more than any trophy. Thanks, Dad. It's a wonderful profession, and uh, I've got so many w wonderful alumni. It, it's uh, I feel very blessed. Uh, so thank you, alumni. It, it's just been absolutely wonderful. And I my my suit coat is off, so that means we're gonna play some jazz and relax. You ready, guys?
Our closing number. Before that, I want to uh, thank some people and our percussionists. We're going to all set up. And we got another xylophone. Bring that one all over, over Joe. I'd like to thank uh, the Casco Music Parents for setting everything up and helping out. I would like to thank Pat Hernandez and Mike Piedmont for filming this and live streaming. Thank you guys. Woo! I'd like to thank Dick Stickles for hiring me in Casco Central School. It's been a great career. Thank you, Dick Stickles. Woo! My high school band director, Bruce Bean, thank you for inspiring me. Bruce, thank you for coming to Connecticut. Bruce. I have the person I student taught with, my sponsor teacher, a wonderful musician, Bill Baxter from Cooksaki. He is here playing. Bill Baxter, please stand up. I appreciate it. I would like to thank my colleagues from Catskill. I'm gonna have them stand up as a group and I'm gonna announce them sort of in a weird manner, so pay attention, okay? Dick Churchill, please stand up. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure if Mary Jo could make it down. She wasn't, I wasn't, wasn't sure if she had a conflict or not. And I want to mention Mary Jo Verticizzi. Uh, BJ Fitzgerald has a conflict. Corinne Zickler is here. I absolutely learned so much from you. Corinne Zickler, where are you? Stand up, please. Yay! <laughs> and I'm not sure if Mr. Goldenstern is here. Mr. Goldenstern. Uh, Jim Goldenstern, let's give him a round of applause anyways because he deserves it. Jim Goldenstern. <laughs> I truly believe that the root of any strong music program begins in the elementary school. So I'm doing these people separate because they started the alumni before you in elementary school. And I want to recognize them and have them stand, please. Uh, Ann Clapper, please stand. I'm so glad both my kids had Sue Ward. Sue Ward. She has a conflict, but I, would, I do want to recognize Karen McKenna, so let's give her a round of applause anyway. It has been my pleasure to work with Miss uh, Christina Gian Greco. She's a great teacher at any level. And like everybody in the Alumni uh, Association, everybody behind me, I want to thank my parents who aren't here but are watching at home. It is being uh, streamed or something. I don't really understand, but they, they tell me it's going to my parents' house up in Chasey, New York. So, um, so thank you, Loretta and Ray Cash. And just like the people behind me, in fourth grade, I wandered home with a trumpet and played it. And I thought it was the most marvelous thing and I've been doing it ever since. Uh, so who knows? It's just so much fun. Uh, th so thanks, Mom and Dad. Uh, and I have a wonderful wife, Diane Presti. Please stand. <laughs> and you already met my kids. And uh, guys, stand anyways, because I love you. So we're going to play some jazz. We, I, I, I'm so honored to have these guys come back and play. And we've had people from uh, multiple states. Uh, I think it's nine states. Uh, I think Jonah Brown wins the furthest award because he's from Vegas and people from Colorado and then people from uh, Missouri and people from New Hampshire and Vermont, Massachusetts, Philadelphia. Uh, alumni, I absolutely love you guys. So we're going to play some jazz. We have 13 jazz soloists. This is a jazz concert. If you like what they're playing, please holler. And there will be some battles going on. So uh, it's called Trading Force. So please feel free to holler out.
came up and go, I have an idea. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, he wasn't, wasn't one of my teachers per se, but he gave me a lot of great advice. He was, really, you know, he was a really great guy. The other person that gave me a lot of great advice, that was one of my teachers. He gave me a lot of tough love over the years, too. <laughs> you never know. I needed it. How are you? 600 pictures are close to it. I'm going to have fun time. I'm going to have fun time in post. It's all right. Give me something to do. What, other than lay under jeeps with wrenches and impact guns? How are you doing, Mike? How's it going? Good. How about you? Very nice to see you. 